deck, we have uh, Wanderin. But coming up right now, you know him, you love him. Uh, everybody, warm welcome for Dennis Cruz! Yeah. Oh, let's hear it all for Doc Gavin hosting the heck out of this thing so far. Oh, wait a minute, I'm like the third guy up here. Never mind. Uh, I do know I now have a new connection for Viagra. Uh, <laughs> You know, uh, uh, I, I recently had to get a tumor removed from my face. And they say it takes confidence to get up here and be a comedian. You know, confidence is walking into melanoma surgery with a suntan. That's what I'm talking about. That's where I'm coming from. You know, when I was a kid, they told me I could be anything I wanted to be. But I didn't know you had to pre-order that shit. I, uh, I want to be the guy without cancer. That's, no, okay. <laughs> you know, every morning, I have to refer to the sun as Mr. Happy, because here in, just hearing, fuck you, sun, it reverts me to my childhood. You know, I, uh, <laughs> I only say it two times in the last two years. Both times I found a tumor. So I'm putting this out there, it's just a safety thing. Shaving causes cancer, don't fucking do it. And I'm not, you know, and when I went into the doctor's office, they had, you know, like a price list up for the procedures they were doing, right? And I saw that face tumor removal is the same price as a permanent Brazilian. Yeah, I lost that coin toss. Fuck. Uh, that would have been fun. Uh, I got that tumor removed, is what I'm saying. If you didn't, for the people in the back, I see you back there, Frederick. <laughs> That's a bad blind joke. Uh, when, I went in, when I went in for surgery, they gave me all this radioactive dye, right? I had enough radioactive dye in me, I developed a superpower. It was unexpected projectile vomiting. <laughs> You're good, don't worry. <laughs> I, uh, you know, they, they also told me it might all slightly alter the color of my urine, right? So I guess I shouldn't have been surprised when it was neon blue, right? I don't know. It scared the hell out of me, though. I, uh, when I went in for surgery, they had that, they, I got the first haircut I had had in 16 months, but they only shaved the left side, right? <laughs> So I came out looking like a geriatric Skrillex clone, you know? And I, and I gotta say, I gotta say this, I wish, I, I wish it felt like the ear they sewed back on was mine, right? You know, because this one seems a little different. Sometimes I think it's listening and now it's pierced. So I don't know, I don't know. Uh, everybody got serious on that shit. It's a fucking joke! <laughs> but I'm serious about the ear thing. It's now. <laughs> it is. It is. It wasn't before. It also was attached. But I don't know what they're doing with body parts. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, shit. Uh, <laughs> you know, I wish, uh, you know, I wish when I went in for the operation, that they could have lined the new skin with like plastic, right? Put a put a button where the tumor was, right? Because then I could have a face pocket, right? I could put like you can store shit like pens, you know, mints, you know, sunblock, maybe. I don't, I don't know. You know, that was a funny thing. My doctor told me. He said, he said, he goes, hey. You want to avoid the sun. Okay, this is my melanoma doctor. You want to avoid the sun, right? Because it may enhance the appearance of the scars. Right? As opposed to, you know, fucking causing cancer and shit. I don't know. Uh, and, you know, when you, when you, you know, I get it, I get it. I get it. When you have one scar, right, they'll call you Scarface. I accept that. I do. But what if you have, like, multiple scars, right? Is it scars of face? <laughs> or, or do you have to count them out by number? Like, hey, there goes five scar face Willie. Anyone? No? no? I'm asking for a friend. Yeah. I'm really, it's not me. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, thank you. It's been wonderful. Uh, I will say that, you know, I often, I often ask myself why I've had such an interesting life, right? But it's usually at 3 a.m. and then I leave behind a bar somewhere. And there are fucking reasons I'm asking, okay? Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to, I'm going to leave on this. If someone, and this is not a personal experience, maybe, but if someone is standing in front of you rubbing pistachios on their genitals, they're truly fucking nuts. Thank you.